How's it going everyone? Welcome back. Hopefully everyone is having a lovely day. So Graham Ashcraft, uh, yeah, entering the season, you, you talk about these reds, you said, oh, we got a great, we got a great one, two, three punch pitching staff. It's the hitters. Can we get these hitters to hit the baseball? We're going to be all right. And I mean, has it been the polar opposite? This hitting, this batting lineup has been carrying this team in this bullpen. Uh, let's talk about this bullpen. Bullpen's a point stellar. This bullpen and this batting lineup has been winning this team baseball games. It's been uh, the rotation that has been struggling. Uh, Graham Ashcraft started the season off really well. Six straight games where he was allowing two or fewer rights. He was, uh, he was impressive. These last seven games, though, he's allowed seven or more runs in four of them. Seven or more runs for the last seven games. Not not the greatest of statistics. The other three games, he allowed three runs or well, exact three runs on the dot, actually, for being, you know, perfectly uh, technical here. And he didn't go deep into games. Done in the fifth, done in the fifth. And he left the most recent game with injury. So it's like, you know, the injury thing, obviously, the last game uh, didn't get, obviously, early game. Didn't get the chance to see how he actually looked in the first two innings, how he did pitch. You know, heard some mi mixed reviews back and forth. Nonetheless, uh, the score score the scorecard ended up with three runs, three earns, and he looks to be healthy and okay to make his next start in rotation. So, so that's good. You want to see this guy be healthy. Uh, the question is, let's talk about where his next turn in the rotation is going to be. Let's start off with my my little. We already know. Uh, if you watch, if you, if you watch the videos, we, we don't have to go on this rant. I don't think David Bell's a uh, manager. Anyway, proving it once again here. Why, why do we have six guys starting right now? Um, that doesn't make sense to me. I don't know how you spin that to make it make sense to me. The Reds currently have a six man rotation going. Uh, how long will that last? It might be a week. It might be a two. It might be just, just one turnaround. Hey, regardless, that's what they're rocking for the week. And I mean, it would make sense if you was the Atlanta Braves and you know, the you know, Soroka came back up injured for two seasons. Uh, was a great pitcher before he came back. Because like, okay, this team's loaded top to bottom from a pitching staff point uh, perspective. We got to get these guys games. The Reds, on the other hand, have one of the worst ERAs in baseball out of their starting pitchers this season. And to say that you need to have six guys start, it just does not make sense to me. You, I can name three guys that you could call down if you had to, and I don't think anybody's gonna be upset about it. And again, you you want to see them all do good. I get that, you know, and you want to give them an opportunity. But you also have to do what's best to put your team in a position to win baseball games. If you guys ain't ready to pitch, if you guys ain't performing, they don't they don't play. That's just how it is. Uh, so I don't I don't quite understand that. I I think what really gets me is it's the fact that these are young guys. You don't want to get them starts, and it's so important to keep guys in that five man rotation, keeping them in that five day cycle, five day cycle continuously, and you intentionally put a void in that. Whatever. I think it would have been great is say, hey, you got an extra starter like this. Ashcraft just went two and two thirds. Bring one of those guys in here. Let him get some logs of innings and we can keep the five man rotation going. Now it'll work perfect, I think. Uh, nonetheless, I'm not the manager. Not clearly. Uh, we won't be doing that. So the question now becomes clearly, though, if there's six guys in your rotation, it's not even a matter of if somebody should be sent down. It's the matter if somebody's going to get their spot taken out. It's when. And again, that can be predetermined where there's five guys or it could be something that's determined down the road here where they say maybe there's another guy down in the minors they want to bring up and call up. Maybe you want to give Ashcraft a chance in the minors to figure things out. They got that ability to do so. So now here's the thing with Ashcraft. I'm not going to go up and down this rotation and say this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy should be ahead of him because I don't I, I, I don't want to, I guess, because I don't. I don't think of Ashcraft as, well, I'm not trying to play devil's advocate here of Ashcraft saying he shouldn't be starting because I think this guy's got a future on his team and I think he's going to be a heck of a baseball player. I'm saying he does right now have some problems. He's got to work or figure out. And as a baseball team that's actually been winning games and they're not out of things right now, you want to see, and you don't want to, and again, you don't want to ruin this guy's confidence and everything. You want to give him a chance to work things out if he can. It, it makes a little bit of sense to say, let's give him a little bit of a stint in the minors, give him a chance to kind of work on some things. So he can come back bigger, better, stronger than ever before. Again, we know this guy's capabilities. There's no secret about it. He, he's going through a really rough patch. But it happens, especially with the younger pitchers. You say, okay, we're sending this guy down to the minors. Give him a little bit of chance to rehab, figure things out. Um, Rehab. <laughs> give him a little bit of chance to figure things out, bring him back up. And his spot's still going to be there. 
Um, I don't, I, at least personally, I don't think Lively's taking it. I don't think Weaver's taking it. I mean, obviously, Lodolo will be off the, the raw aisle before long. I don't want to say before long, but at some point. And it'll be all right. You know, I still think he's, you know, the Reds going forward, they're number three. But you don't want to see him go out here and struggle to where you, like, push him down this hill that he can't come up from. And I think that's what you really question here. Because you want to you do what's best for this guy. You also, you know, there's, it's tough. Because you don't want to send a guy down also and be like, oh, send down to the minors. <laughs> you know, that can be tough on guys too. Send him to the minors. But it's just as tough watching him sit there and cost your team baseball games, important ones. or And, you know, that's hard on him as well. You know, it, we all go out there and put it on the player right away. Like, they they don't feel bad about it or they don't have a hard time. Like, they don't want to go out there and give up five, six, seven runs a night either. Just as much as we don't want them to, right? Uh, nonetheless, though, have Reds figured out this rotation? Everything else right now is looking promising. Yeah, I like that. Love to get his thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.